Once you guys got another video here for you, no more Microsoft account is needed to install Windows 11 Home or Windows 11 Pro. And I'm going to show you the new methods that you're going to need to use on these latest builds that Microsoft are planning to release, which are going to be blocking a lot of the old mechanisms and the old methods that people used to use. I've made a video showing you a bunch of different methods that still work today with these brand new builds that Microsoft are releasing. They are in beta and dev channel, but they will be rolled out to the general public very soon for 24H2 and 25H2 versions. This is just another additional uh, version that you can use to bypass the Microsoft account if you wish to do so. Now, before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys or office keys, then check out the links in the video description. Once you head over to their website, you can create an account, click on your purchase, for instance, Windows 11 Pro here. You can click the buy now button, and then you can use my promo code to get 30% discount on all your purchases. So just use my promo code inside the promotion code box, capital B, capital R, 09, and apply that to your order, and you'll get a 30% discount on all your purchases. Once you submit your order, they would then send you a key. You can use that key to activate your version of Windows, or upgrade from home editions to pro editions of Windows. Check the video description for more details. So once you start installing Windows 11, you're going to get to this part of the installation where it says, is this the right country or region? You can change it to your country or region. Then you need to press Shift F10 or the FN function key and Shift F10 together to open up the command prompt window. So what we're going to do first is add a user account to this system so net user space username space asterisk space forward slash add and then push enter is then going to ask you for your password add in a password here this is going to add a password to the account next what we're going to need to do is add this to the local group of administrators so let's go ahead and type out this command right here make sure you change your username section to the username you're using and then press enter and it will put your username into the administrator group of that computer. Next, we're going to make the account active. So type out this command you see on the screen right here and press enter. Next, you need to type out that command you see on the screen, net space user space your username space forward slash expires colon never and then press enter and that will make sure it never expires. Now we want to turn off the built in administrator account. So net space user space administrator space forward slash active colon no press enter and this will disable the built-in administrator account on that system now because we've created our own user administrator account we're going to need to delete the old default user account here so net space user space default user zero and then space forward slash delete press enter and that will delete the default user account on that system now hopefully you've done everything right here and we can type net space user and press enter and this will tell us the uh, user accounts that are on this system once we set it up so let's go net space user right here press enter and you can see we have uh, the administrator brightech account that i just set up and that's our default account and the guest account is turned off here by default and that's all you're going to have on this system so we're ready to go here now all we need to do now is edit the registry so we're going to type in here reg edit to open up the registry editor from this window. This will up the registry editor and we need to navigate to this location you see on the screen right here. We need to navigate to the OOBE directory which is the out of box experience folder. So let's go to HK local machine here, open this up and then we're gonna come down to where it says software, open that one up there and then navigate down to Microsoft. And once we open up Microsoft, we're gonna to go to uh, Windows so just scroll all the way down until you find the Windows uh, folder right here. So there it is right there. Open that up and we need to go to current version. So click on the current version, open this one up here. And then we're looking for OOBE, which is the out of box experience uh, type of folder what we're looking for. So let's go down and uh, I've gone past it and it's there. And that's what we need to do here now. So on this side right here, it's important that we expand here and we're going to be deleting the default account action, the default account uh, SAM name, and also the default account SID 
uh, number as well. So what we're going to do here is right click on these and delete these ones right here because we don't need them because we've created our own account, which is called Brightech. In my case, yours will be whatever account you created and what name you give it. Once we've done these, we'll have to rename this launch user OOBE and we we'll need to right click on this and rename it or you can modify it and basically type out the skip machine OOBE just as you see with the capital letters right there and press enter. Now the value that it's already got is one that's perfectly fine so you can leave the value as one and then click OK. Now we've done that, we're ready to go. All we need to do here now is close off the registry editor and go back into your command prompt window here and type out this command, shutdown space forward slash R space forward slash T space zero and then press enter. And this is going to restart the system as you can see right here on the screen. And once we start up the system again, it's going to start booting up to the PC and create our user account that we've just set up, which is in my case, Brightech, yours will be whatever yours is that you've set up on your system. And if you give it a password, it's going to say the password is incorrect. That's fine. Click OK. And now it's going to ask us for our password that we set up for that account. I'm going to go ahead and put a password in here and it's now going to boot up and create our account and take us to the desktop. Now, this is just the normal same phase that you would get when you're setting up a, a, a computer. You would see this end part here. Now, just don't understand why Microsoft just doesn't give you the option to create a local account rather than go for all this faff that you have to do nowadays to install Windows on a system and be able to keep a local account. Some people want to stay offline. Some people just don't want a Microsoft account whatsoever. Now, you might see a black screen for a while before you get to this screen. That's pretty normal. It might take a minute, so be patient. And then now you can go through and choose all your options here. I normally say no for all of this and give minimum required only data to them. And then go through, ink and type in, turn that off, because this is all the telemetry and the advertising. And you should now see the screen like this. Let me make it full screen. There we go. And we are now at the desktop. Let's go settings here and we can go to account and you now should see your account name with local account and you are an administrator on that PC. That's basically it. It's a bit of a, a, a faff, I understand that, but it's just the things you're going to have to do in the future because Microsoft are constantly closing these bypass methods because they want you to not skip the out of box experience and they want you to see all those splash screens which are about advertisement and buying their products. Now, where did I get this idea from? Well, there was a fella on the Discord server. We was talking about it on there and I said I will make a quick video because I think it's a useful bit of information for people who want to use a local account. And he went on and explained what he did in a virtual machine and I tested it this afternoon and it seemed to work okay. The first time I did it there was a few issues on this video he put up here with some commands but I've sorted those out now and that's his website right there on YouTube if you want to pop over there and give him a sub by all means do so because it was his idea originally and we've been talking and I said I will make a video so why is all this happening well bypassing the Microsoft account on Windows 11 24h2 and 25h2 on builds 26120.6772 and also 26 220.6772 are 24H2 and 25H2. These are in the dev and beta channels, and these are going to be rolled out uh, to you very shortly. Microsoft have said they are removing the known mechanisms for creating a local account in Windows Setup Experience, OOBE. Whilst these mechanisms were often used by people to bypass the Microsoft account setup, they want you to basically set up a Microsoft account because you're skipping critical setup screens. These are just adverts and also how to buy their products. So if you're wondering what build I was using there, it was one of the new dev or beta builds, which is what they have stopped those mechanisms on. So stop using those old methods because you're not going to be able to use them anymore. What well, I made a video a couple of days ago showing you a few bypass methods that you can use, and you can also use this one as well. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. 
Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. If you've got ideas and you want a video made, then jump on our Discord server and drop it all in the technology chat there. And I'll do my best to make that video for you and give you the credit for it. Anyway, catch you in the next one.